Lounge Lizards, um, representing a, a, a very nice bar to the north of the island. They're, they're mark two of a previous team in the event. They're, they're giving the tournament great support. We really appreciate what they're doing and they're, they're representing local Phuket community. They're, they're playing another one of the new teams this year and we're very excited that, that we've got um, two New Zealand teams here. One's, one's the team playing now, which are the university entertainers. And as you can see from that shot, it was very entertaining. Uh, they're, they're a great bunch of guys. We had the pleasure of meeting them a couple of days ago, and they're a great mob of guys. So both of these new teams are really supporting the event really well. As well, there's a, a team called Wiraroa from New Zealand, and, and they're all sort of travelling together, and they're having a great holiday, a great time, making it just a combined good holiday for them in Phuket with a bit of cricket chucked in. And you've managed to attract a couple of ex-professionals. Tell us about Alan here. Well, we're fortunate enough to have Alan back with us this year. He's, he's going to be playing the 2020 game tomorrow night. Uh, you know that? I do now. <laughs> well, it would be wonderful if he can because he was a great professional in his day. Uh, he's still playing a bit of cricket around Perth, Australia, which is fantastic to hear. Got himself looking very fit there and, and, and it's great to have Alan with us. He, he had a fantastic career with England. He was up there in very high in the ratings, I think number two in the world, one day cricket in 2001. And to have someone of his status and stature and, and a genuine all-round good guy with us in Phuket is just brilliant. So would you like to play on this sort of pitch on a, on a Friday evening here? You know, under the, not under the sun, obviously, but under the floodlights. I did do it two years ago, and it was fantastic. The last time I was here, it was all very barren, so it's, the grounds got um, to scratch superb, um, obviously given the weather. But, um, you know, I played in Holland in a place called The Hague, Den Haag, years ago, and um, it was no different, you know, on matting, um, trying to figure out how, what it's all about with these, you know, these, um, these guys there from Holland. But um, next thing you know, they're qualifying for World Cup matches against Australia and, and Pakistan and Sri Lanka, and they did do so. It's where it starts, so hopefully maybe in due course we'll see a team from Phuket or from Thailand playing the World Cup, and why not? And obviously this sort of format and these smaller teams, you have to play a sort of different style, very quick, very sort of opportunist. It's very short and sharp, but it's entertaining, and it, it, I mean, it'd be nice to see more local people here, you know. Um, I've just flown in from um, Canada, from Vancouver, and they, they play cricket there, and they've qualified for, for World Cup matches, but um, they have no idea, you know. Um, the locals have no idea, so it'd be nice to, to get more locals here to get involved in the game of cricket and then, like football, soccer, make it uh, a world game as well. Would you like to do a bit of coaching as well, especially for kids, do you think? Well, here? Like yeah, here, well, yeah well, if they could sort something out, it wouldn't be a problem. I do a lot of coaching in Perth. Um, I put something back into the game after 18 years of county cricket and obviously playing international cricket. Um, so why not? How do you, um, do you rate England at the moment? They sort of seemed a bit down, you know... They've, they had their high moments, but at the moment it seems to be... I think England, you know, we have our picks and troughs, whereas, um, and sometimes we're brilliant, and like we won the Ashes in 05, superb stuff. Um, but unlike Australia, we're not as consistent. You know, Australia's, well, they are the who's who, you know, one of the best test teams in the history of the game, which, you know, is, is a massive, massive achievement. And um, we need to get more consistent. But then it also helps if you've got a Glenn McGrath or a Shane Warne. When these guys aren't just great cricketers, they're the greatest of all time. Um, and we don't have that. But hopefully in due course we will. Do you do any coaching yourself, uh, you know, in other places? Yeah, I coach in Perth, a, a club cycle called Willerton. Um, it's one step below first-class cricket, and I coach the, the juniors and the seniors, um, and just to put something back into the game. You know, the cricket's given me a fantastic life. I've seen the world, I've got paid for it. You know, can't complain. Now, this charity match on Friday evening is to raise money for, for kids, isn't it? Child, child watches? Yes, what, what we're doing because of um, the fantastic... The fantastic creation of cricket here in Phuket. Since we ran the first event in 2003, we've um, the PCU was developed, the Phuket Cricket Union, who have since developed a cricket league, which is going great guns. It's really brilliant. I think there's five teams in that league now, which is great for cricket in Phuket. And um, what's happened through them is through the Cricket Authority of Thailand and the ACC, the Asian Cricket Council, there's a, a genuine, genuine feeling to develop the game of cricket in the world. Through that, there's been a de junior development program created. Which, uh, and 
what we're doing is we're, where possible, going out to local schools, coaching teachers and coaches. Uh, the Cricket Authority of Thailand uh, are very active in that. And um, through that, we have developed a cricket program, junior cricket program. What we're doing this year is we're collecting as much as we can from participants and supporters to assist that program. Obviously, nothing happens without a bit of money. Uh, especially at the 2020 game tomorrow night, we're going to be taking the hats around and raising as much money as we possibly can for cricket development in Phuket at the junior level. And then the, the rest of the tournament, that will f finish on Saturday and Sunday with the finals. What, what sort of time will that be? Well, the, we're expecting, so long as we don't continue to have these rain um, delays, which is quite possible. I know a couple of years ago we finished the finals, the cup finals under lights. We do have that here, which we're very fortunate, and we will use the lights if need be. But we're expecting to finish around 5.30 after the last final on Sunday. There'll be four finals, the cup, the bowl, the plate and spoon. Uh, we don't leave the cup to the end because the light fails. We'll probably be playing the cup second last with the spoon last to finish off the tournament. Uh, that, that is a culmination of the whole weekend. Most teams still have a game on Sunday morning, so most teams are still live. After round one, they qualify for the cup, bowl, plate and spoon. So they're always playing for something, and that's the great thing about the tournament. Whether With our tournament, the best team is just as important as the worst team, and vice versa.